It's cool coming back at you. I make these videos. I'm going to make this one quick and I'm going to make it short, you know. Sometimes I don't talk for a long period of time. Then sometimes I get on here and it's like, oh my gosh. Could I work it out with myself? Could I not say anything? Could I just be quiet about it? Probably not. I want to bring up the fact today. I don't want to offend anybody. And I certainly want to be able to let somebody know that I've done it as well. But let's talk about something. Let's talk about people that uh, are never wrong. If you have people in your life that just are continually saying, it's not me, I never did anything wrong, and it's everybody but me, always know that something's wrong with that sentence. What we want to do is we want to be able to say, you know, I took part in that whether it be good or bad. Sometimes the background man that doesn't take the hype or, or the thank yous and stuff, I always like those people. You know why? Because they're the people that are driving uh, ambulances, the medics, the people that don't get all the glory, like doctors, people behind the scenes. I mean, where are their awards, you guys? Where in the hell is a paramedics award? Where is the award for somebody that saved someone's life today over and over again, laying in the street, you know? Where is it? Where are the awards for, you know, parents staying home and, and doing the best that they can with the tools that they've been taught? I mean, it's pretty basic, like, you know, make your children dinner, Brush your teeth before bed. Clean pajamas. Just nurturing. I'll tell you where the reward is. The reward is in when they grow up. That people see something in them. A lot of times people come from parents that really never did teach them. They, they were pliable. They were, they were teachable. And they were able to say, you know, I don't want to be like my parent. They can use that. Whatever fuels you to change to be a better person, whether it be God, whether it be a negative parent, whether it be just yourself learning in life that you don't want to do it that way because you learned yourself that it was empty, that it was fake, that it was a, it was a counterfeit, you know. So my point today is, um, coming on here, I've been coming on here off and on last few days. I've been going through something, you know. I do react. For those of you that know me and don't know me, if you do know me, I'm generally a pretty good person. I'm generally someone you can trust. I'm generally, if I say something, I'll do it. But did you know a lot of people poke at people and want them to react and have triggers because they're hiding something? Because they haven't treated you right? They have like the scoreboard going and they think, and this isn't paranoia, these are facts. They want to avoid what they've done to you because not only is the fact that they don't want to accept that they haven't always treated you right. See, most people that I know, in fact, quite a few, they come off with this exterior outside, not inwardly, that, hey, I don't give a F, or I don't care what people think. Meanwhile, while they're doing that to you, did you know that deep down they're chiseling and chipping at you because you do care what loved ones think of you? Because you do care that you would like peace between people and resolve issues. So the next time you want to step up in somebody's, you know, personal triggers, think about all the things that you didn't do that were quite fair. Or use something against them that you caught on a message. Because not everything's recorded. Most people that are real smart that have master degrees know that. Most people that are therapists, they kind of, they don't just clean part of the table. Notice how Miss Cool has to go back to like basic stuff like 
a college person wouldn't go back to basic things like uh, what I use for my format. Like, most of the time, people wouldn't go back to a table and just, like, wipe off a certain area, right? Well, I'm only going to do this part right here because that's the only part that's dirty. They're going to wipe the whole table down if they do it correctly. Here's my point. Everybody has a dirty table. You know, and it's up to us to clean it, isn't it? I make up these things because I didn't go to college. So I have to use my mind, what I know, what I've learned, and to kind of show you what I'm thinking. So I'm thinking, well, if you are going to clean a table up, wouldn't you clean all of it? But could you do all of it in one day, being that it's you and your pain and your hurt and your suffering and all the days people didn't understand you? The only thing they ever saw was the triggering and poking a bear and you're reacting. A smart person that's been in college, that knows human behavior, that studied it, you can't lie to them. They know if you're telling the truth. So it's Miss Cool coming to you today saying, try to take out your pain and your hurts and your scars and be transparent. Like I like to dance or write a song. I got a tear right now because like I told you guys about before about Miss Robinson, when I was little, she had me reading poetry behind these magazines, you know, because I wanted to earn maybe 75 cents to go get some candy in California. I didn't really have anything else to do. My mom worked swing shift. She was a registered nurse. That's another story. You know, I love my mom, but she took a lot of drugs. She kind of, um, I'm not blaming her, but as a child, we learn different things, don't we? We learn how to sing. We learn how to put our shoes on. We learn about tapping and music, rhythm. We certainly learn about love, don't we? If somebody that loves you, that's a parent, while you're young and immature and innocent, they show you the wrong ways of love, since you don't know anything else when you're young, wouldn't you receive that? Wouldn't you say, wow, that's love? But what if a lot of years go by and it wasn't? What if it was abuse? And what if all the people that know you now that you're an adult think, Gosh, she's messed up. Wow, you're a mess. Wow, you got lots of problems. What if they were smart and intelligent, like some of the therapists and people I've met and know, that could actually help you instead of aggravate you? That could actually be a friend. Now, being a friend is a whole, whole, whole nother ball game. Being a friend is not so easy. A lot of people claim they're friends, but they don't have like the action of love or kindness. They're friends that, that are, they're not accepting you. And if they are your friend, they want you to be like them. And if they are your friend, there's stipulations. Because what in a real friend like you on bad days because the weather's not always sunny sometimes it rains and sometimes it's uncomfortable to run in the rain and get in your car without getting soaked I always laugh at people when I see in the rain it cracks me up it's like that water is not going to kill you guys and anyway we're in Utah you want to know where it really rains Florida and Colorado. Yeah, I skip around. Yeah, I jump from subject to subject. It's my shout out. I can. It's Miss Cool. And want to know something? If it's raining inside of you right now and your table's not completely clean, it's okay. Because you know what? We're all at different levels like water, aren't we, in glasses? You can look at my glass and say, well, at that age, I wouldn't be you know, acting like that. Well, guess what? There's probably a lot of things I'm doing that you aren't doing. So we can't look at each other like that, all right? But what we can do is accept each other's faults and look for the core of the real person that's, that's inside there and the love. That's a real good test to see who's really your friend. 
You might even intentionally, purposely do it just to see who's really there. I've done it. Is it wrong? It's very negative. But it may be as my behavior to see who really is there. Like I said, I've been there for a lot of people. Been there for a lot of people my family. Seems like I'm alone some days. Seems like I'm very misunderstood. But in this moment, I'm grateful for the people that are there. My son Ryan's one of them. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you, Jim. I got a tear because the people that stand next to you over the years, they're really important. You know why? Because in life, we don't have to be perfect. It's just cool having a tear today, Sam. If you've got real friends that love you on the bad days and good days, that's a friend.